Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, Food for Thought episode. Today I want to talk about reflections and truths about I don't have time. And this is something that we all have said before. I mean, we've all said at some point, oh, I don't have time for that. I wish, but I don't have time. And here I'm not going to be talking from a place of judgment or blame or anything like that. My goal is to really think and bring awareness and truth on this statement. Because the, the goal is to grow every day on our soul journey. So this might be triggering, but for those who know me, uh, I'm all about healing and using triggers to your advantage to heal so that awareness can be raised and we can all grow and evolve and be the next version of ourselves, right? So, I was actually in the shower last night and I realized that it's nothing else than an excuse and it hides a lot of fears and even BS that we can tell ourselves without realizing. So, once again, it's to raise awareness, because I, I really believe raising awareness on this is going to help being honest with ourselves, okay? So, do I really not have time? Am I making excuses? What are my priorities? Because it's true, sometimes we're super busy and all, there, there's no denying that life can be crazy, don't get me wrong. And let's also mention that resting is important. So I'm talking about getting enough good quality sleep, as many hours as you need. Everyone is unique and needs a certain number of hours of sleep, right? So I'm not going to tell you to like reduce your number of hours of sleep at night and do the thing. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about all those times when we say that we don't have time but it's what we tell ourselves and what we tell others, okay? Sometimes it implies some silent remarks that we are not always aware of because sometimes we are not fully transparent with ourselves neither. I don't have time can mean or imply I need to organize my day better or improve the way I manage my time because maybe you're busy indeed but then sometimes during the day you take your phone and you get lost on social media and less crawling, right? I don't have time can also mean I don't want to do that, but if I would say I don't want to do that, I will disappoint someone or I will be judged or insert anything you might be afraid of here, okay? Because someone is offering you to come and visit them or to go with them somewhere and you say you don't have time, but in reality you don't really want to. So that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes the I don't have time also implies I am not worthy of this or I don't deserve this. So I will just say I don't have time. Like, for example, do you believe you are worthy of your dreams becoming true? Do you believe you are worthy of having the solution to that issue or that challenge that is bothering you, right? Food for thought. I don't have time could also mean I don't know where to start. So it's like being overwhelmed. So because you're not sure, you're not taking time. Or it could mean I cannot be bothered. Or it could mean I'm scared to fail. Or I need help. Or I'm feeling shame or guilt. You see, my point is, why not clearly say what we mean? Why not really be honest with ourselves and with others? Why are we running from ourselves? If something is really important, we can always make the time for it. Period. Do you really not have time for your dreams and what sets your soul on fire? Or do you prefer binge-watching Netflix in your free time? Either way, it's okay. It's just a matter of priorities and choices. But what matters is to acknowledge and take responsibility. That is what we really need to do. Then it becomes a choice. A choice to remain in the same situation 
and in that case not complain about it because it's a conscious choice, or choosing to reorganize our priorities. And it's okay to feel lost, scared, to want to distract yourself sometimes, not knowing where to start, but acknowledging it is important. It's really crucial to know the real reasons behind your actions, thoughts, and excuses as well. Or what may seem like an excuse. Like, for example, procrastination. It can hide the fact that you are overwhelmed and you don't know where to start. So you're just postponing it. Or maybe it's because your ego is afraid. Uh, it's actually not maybe, it is because your ego is afraid of the unknown, getting out of this comfort zone. But that's where the magic happens. So above everything else, I believe that it's about taking responsibility for the way we feel, acknowledge it within ourselves and towards others too. Are you willing to be real with yourself? This is the real question and really be authentic, transparent with yourself without judging yourself, loving yourself unconditionally. So my challenge to you right now is that next time you think or say, I don't have time, check in with yourself and ask yourself, do I really want to do insert the thing in question here, what is important to me? Is there a way I could reorganize my day to make time for X, Y, Z? Sometimes we need to compromise and get out of our comfort zone. And sometimes it's genuinely not possible at that moment in time. And once again, it's okay. There is no right or wrong. What matters is to choose what is best for you and to support yourself and to go for whatever you choose to do. So I hope this little episode will have resonated with you and that it can really help. Like, I don't have time, but what am I running away from? Uh, this is all about limiting beliefs. And if you would like to go deeper about limiting beliefs, I released a whole masterclass for free about it. You can find it on my website in the freebie section. And if you would like to explore more in depth your limiting beliefs so that you can heal them from the root cause and get rid of them once for good and gain awareness on how you function to know yourself better and unleash your potential, you can book a free discovery call if you want. You can DM me. I have sessions for that. So... I wish you a nice rest of the day, wherever you are in the world listening to this. I'm sending you much love and I wish for you to reconnect more deeply with yourself because we can always go deeper. So love yourself unconditionally and I'm sending you all much love and I will speak to you soon. Bye.